a Neil Hamburger is, uh, air quotes, America's funny man. Mm-hmm. And he's a guy that played in, like, punk bands in the D.C. scene during when Discord was around. Like, what? that record label and, like, Fugazi and Rites of Spring and those the types of bands. Days? Wait, uh, number one. Is he talking about the old days? Number one, Rice of Spring and Fugazi never played together. Hey, what timeline is this? I don't know. It seems messed up. And dude, what happened to Discord Records? Are, are they still? Did they go out of business? I don't. I don't know if they did. Because he said when Discord was around. Yeah, Jamie, can you call? Was, can you call up Ian? Let's call. Yeah, him. I'm gonna give him a call. Right, I'm actually plugging it in. Right the hotline, now. right? Yeah, let's give him a call. Let's see if I can. <clears throat> um, because we need to get the bottom. Of the, if Discord went out of business. I don't know. Maybe they got some like uh, beef eater LPs on closeout or something. Again for three ninety five. I feel like DC would collapse. Oh, we have a live feed into the studio. Okay. Though. Is he gonna pick up? This Discord <laughs> record. <laughs> Ian, Ian, how are you? Who am I speaking to? <laughs> this is uh, who is this? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Gee, you're there also. It's both of them. Yeah. Uh, um. You have music. Wait, you have music for the so, call. So, wait, this is so, Josh. This is Josh and Brian calling from uh, Bloodshot Asbury Park. What's up? How are you guys doing out there? <laughs> so, are you How guys? Are you? <laughs> so, are you guys like open for business or? I mean, there's no real social media presence. What gives? We're open for business, <laughs> but not for sale. <laughs> well, we're not trying to buy you. We just heard on a, on. Uh, two failed comedians podcast when Discord was around, so we were wondering what happened to Discord. We thought you were still around. We were calling to check in. I'm around and I have a blog on Tumblr. <laughs> okay, so we want to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. Would that be cool? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> okay, so did you guys ever play with Rights of Spring? I don't remember. I was too fucked up. <laughs> Wait, you were fucked up. Uh, I'm a liar. What nonsense is this? Hey, uh, now that we've got you on the phone, where did you guys get that really nice bell? At Target. <laughs> I didn't even know they had Target back then. I guess they, they did. They did. <laughs> in DC. <laughs> so, Ian. Ian, it, wait, in which waiting room did you write waiting room about? Because I've always wondered, was it DMV? <laughs> Was it a dentist's office? Was it... It was an ophthalmologist. Though. Yeah. I wrote it down in Epcot. Santa! <laughs> down in Disneyland. <laughs> why did... Um, one more question I have. Uh, so why did Gee hang upside down off that basketball hoop? And how did you get him down off there? Was it a slam dunk? <laughs> we were playing hoops one day. <laughs> Went upside down. <laughs> and he just stayed. <laughs> took photos. <laughs> <laughs> Who took those photos? Yeah, because how is the the image of him and the converse totally in focus? Like it's how so amazing. I've never figured out how you get fore and background in focus at the same time. When light goes through the shutter, <laughs> it burns an image on the film. <laughs> a Kodak. <laughs> I have a burning question, oh, really. Shit. How did you keep that white SG so nice and shiny? <laughs> I don't smoke. <laughs> okay. uh, Emily, do you have any... I mean, this is your one chance, maybe not your one chance, but to ask questions to Ian and Gee from Fugazi. Do you have any questions you want to ask them? <laughs> um, what was your inspiration? Yeah, what was your inspiration to start Fugazi? Myself! <laughs> and only me! <laughs> And me too! No <laughs> <Help> me! <laughs> Ian, uh, what should I get my girlfriend for Christmas? <laughs> Fugazi merchandise! <laughs> it's for sale! You can't find it! It's very expensive! <laughs> I'm gonna pay my pants! <laughs> Holy shit. Oh Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy <laughs> shit. I'm glad we set the record straight here, though. <laughs> Wait, I do want to ask one more thing. Uh, I've said Make it fast. <laughs> I've said publicly on this show before. We gotta go. <laughs> I've said publicly on this show before. <laughs> I can't talk. I've said publicly on this show. <laughs> oh, one sec. 
I've said publicly, and I want to apologize on this show before, that I like uh, the Land of Need World of Breed comp better than the Embrace LP that it covers. So, uh, Ian, I'm really sorry for that. And I'll, I'll tell you, oh, I'm, I'm getting a look through the phone. Just getting a look. Yeah, and I'm really sorry about that because the Embrace LP is way better. Holy shit. Uh, thank you so much for the call, dude. Uh, Two H is old. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> Uh, all right, we can, we can tweet at the uh, Two Failed Comedians podcast. Call me back! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Thanks, dudes. Oh Goodbye my God. now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was so funny.